Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. And in this video, I'm gonna give you some options to answer people when they ask you to sell their stuff on eBay. If you are an eBay seller and you ever meet somebody new or it gets around that you sell things, people will come to you and ask you to sell their stuff. And unless you wanna get into consignment or maybe just do somebody a favor, the overwhelming majority of people out there don't want to sell other people's items. And it's for a variety of reasons, mostly because we have enough trouble keeping up with our own listings and getting our own stuff up for sale. And, you know, those death piles that keep getting bigger because we love to shop. So it's really hard to make time to sell things for other people. And there are associated hassles with that as far as the money back and forth or the person telling you what you should sell it for not understanding the ebay market because an item is only worth what somebody will pay for it so people will see you as kind of like a meal ticket to sell their stuff and you don't have to do it you can say no and that's hard for a lot of people especially women but let me give you some suggestions for ways you can handle that situation and say no in a polite way. And a lot of times it's family, so it's really hard to tell them no, but it's just a matter of boundaries and it's up to you to set them. So here are some ideas. Okay, the first thing to say is, oh gosh, I just really have a hard time keeping up with my own stuff right now. I just can't take on anymore. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And I use that one all the time. Actually, I was at a social gathering a few weeks ago and met some new people. And the first thing out of this one lady's mouth was, oh, I have this dress that I would love for you to sell. How can we make that happen? And it's, it's almost like they don't even ask you. They just assume that you're going to do it. So again, they see you as kind of a vehicle to help them get money, um, a meal ticket. And you can just say, I already have enough to do. I can't keep up with my own stuff. So even if I took it on, it'd probably just sit there for months and months till I got around to it. So I can't help you. So sorry, I just can't take that on. Kind of like when the PTA keeps asking you to do stuff, you just have to keep saying no over and over again. <laughs> Been there and done that. Okay, the second thing you can say is, you know what, eBay is pretty easy to learn. And you can sell your own stuff and keep 100% of the profit. And then you just refer them to my YouTube channel, my website, my premium library, whatever you wanna refer them to, and just say, hey, this person will help you learn. You just put it right back on them. So it's their responsibility to handle their items and learn to do it themselves. And most people will say, oh, I don't have time, or that's too much trouble, or but you already know how to do it, it'd be so much faster. And then you can revert back to number one, where you say, I already have enough to do, I just don't have time. And that brings us to the third thing they're going to say back to you when you say no is, well, I just don't have time to learn. I don't have time to do that. And then you can say, yeah, everybody's really busy. And so am I, and I have that same problem of, I just don't have time. So if you don't have time to list your own items, I sure don't. So you might wanna just go learn how to do that and then refer them to whatever helped you learn and put that responsibility back on them. The fourth thing you can mention is how inconvenient eBay's return policy is. You can say, well, I did sell some things for other people, but eBay has this return policy, so it's 30 days. And after the buyer receives the item, they have up to 30 days to return it. So I couldn't even give you your money until after that time has passed. And that just kind of messes up the whole deal is that return policy. So it's just better if you do it yourself. The fifth thing you can mention is PayPal's 180 day buyer protection plan. If you're not familiar with that, PayPal does have a clause where buyers can open a case for item not received or item not as described 180 days after the transaction takes place. So you could throw that in there and say, well, 
you know, I'd love to do it for you, but PayPal has this clause where buyers can return things up to six months later. So I would have to hang on to your money for six months until that passes. And uh, they're not going to want to hear that. They, they want their money right away. That's why they're approaching you to sell their stuff. So you can throw all these details out and all these roadblocks that will convince them, yeah, that's probably not a good idea. The sixth thing you can suggest is, hey, you know what? You should just sell that on a Facebook group or next door or any of these other sites that are local. And then you won't have to pay any fees and you can sell it right away yourself. You should try that and just push them off into the Facebook marketplace direction and let them figure it out. And the seventh and final thing you can say is, no, I simply can't. And if they keep on and on, say, I just, I simply can't. I can't. And don't say I'm sorry, because you don't have to do this for anybody. This is your business and you can take on what you want. And you don't have to be sorry that you can't help every single person that asks you. And trust me, the longer you do this and the more people who know that you do this, the more of these requests you're gonna get. So this is about setting boundaries and protecting your time because when you get going off on these tangents, helping other people sell their items and not getting paid for your time, that's time you could be spending on your business, listing your things, making money for yourself. So remember when you're listing things for other people, they're not paying you up front. You're spending your time taking the pictures, listing the item, answering the questions, all of that before the item even sells and it may not sell, for a long time or at all. So our most valuable asset is our time and we have to learn to protect it. And this has been a lesson for me for a long time because I started eBay way back before anybody else in my area even knew what it was. And I've had people coming to me now since I started in 2003 saying, oh, I heard you sell on eBay. Can you sell this for me? Can you sell that for me? I've got this I need to sell. And I've had to learn to say no and not worry about hurting other people's feelings. It's about protecting your time because you know what, when you say no, they're going to move on to somebody else or they'll figure out another way and you don't have to worry about it. So boundaries, protect your time and no is a complete sentence. That's all you have to say is just, no, I can't. That's it. So I hope these tips have helped you and would love your comments below about people who have approached you to sell on eBay for them. It is a very common situation. And I don't think people realize that they're imposing on us and our time because they want to use our skill and expertise to help them make money. And really, it's a great skill. They should learn it themselves and empower themselves so they can make money anytime they want and not have to rely on another person. So thanks so much for watching. Would love your comments below and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.